Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 16 on Rocky Linux. First verify whether this is Rocky Linux or not. See, I am on Rocky Linux 9. Okay. So command is sudo dnf or use m both are same. So dnf install hyphen y PostgreSQL 16 server suppose if you want to install 15 just replace 16 with 15 then server the same if you want you can give 11 or 12 or 13 like that okay 16 server in again See, you have successfully installed PostgreSQL 16. Now, next step is we have to initiate the database. See, copy this command or simply go to this path and run this one. It is better to copy this command and initialize the database. It is success. Next, we have to verify whether PostgreSQL service is started or not. sudo system ctl status postgresql-16 see it is not started and it is disabled so first we have to enable this postgresql service whenever linux machine restarts then we have to manually start the postgresql service to so to avoid this one we have to enable this postgresql service so sudo systemctl enable postgresql iPhone 16. It is success and it has created symlink. Control L to clear screen. Again verify. See, it is enabled before it was disabled. Okay, but still it is not started. Okay, so start the service sudo systemctl start then service name. Here service name is PostgreSQL 16. Now verify again. See, now it is active and running. Also see here, this is the data directory and these are the background processes for PostgreSQL server. Now let's connect to PostgreSQL server. sudo su hyphen postgres psql we have successfully connected. Let's verify the version of PostgreSQL server installed on Rocky Linux. See, we have installed PostgreSQL 16. The next and most important step that we have to do after connecting to PostgreSQL server is we have to set the password for Postgres user. That is the super user for PostgreSQL server. Control L to clear screen. Command is alter user Postgres is the user let me check how many users are there see slash l see forward slash and du see we have only one user that is the super user this user can do anything okay so now set the password for this super user alter user postgres with password then provide the password we have successfully set the password for the super user now let's create another user create user r2 admin with password same i am giving but use strong passwords now verify the list of the users slash du see we have two users the first one is the super user and second one is the normal user if you don't want allow this user to login so give the command alter user username no login again verify see user cannot login like this we can create the users in the upcoming videos i will show you how to grant privileges for this users okay now verify list of the databases forward slash and l see we have three databases comes with the installation of PostgreSQL that is Postgres template 0 and template 1. 
these are the default databases let's create a database control l to clear screen create database add to schools let's verify again sorry see new database has been added successfully and this is the owner encoding and local provider and other settings now switch to this new database and create a table without switching if we try to create a table it will create in the current database to switch a database from the current database to another database the command is slash c then database name. now database name has been changed also see here you are now connected to database or to schools as this user okay now create a table let's verify list of the tables slash dt is the command the commands starts with forward slash are called as meta commands create table student s number int s name where care 30 this typo we have successfully created table let's verify see new table that is student has been added let's insert records into this table and again insert one more Let's verify the data. See, we have two rows in this table. Okay. To quit from this PSQL shell, give this slash Q. Now we are out of that. To exit from this user, you have to give exit. Control L to clear screen. Sorry, I forgot to show you how to find the config file locations. sudo su iPhone Postgres Suppose if you want to find config file location just give show config underscore file See this is the configuration file which contains all server level settings If you want to find HBA file that is authentication file so give see this is the file where we can provide the rules to connect or reject to PostgreSQL server suppose if you want to restart PostgreSQL server sudo systemctl restart PostgreSQL service now verify the status see we have restarted or started eight seconds ago now i'm going to show you how to stop it just replace this status with stop it is stopped so see it is inactive or dead so again start it verify again see we have started the post sql so in this video we have seen how to install and configure post sql 16 version on Rocky Linux 9. For more PostgreSQL server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.